We are here with head women's water polo coach Craig Rond, who enters his 15th season at the helm of the Regals in 2018. First off, coach, you've been here since day one. As the program continues to grow, what is something you're looking forward to this year? Well, I'll tell you what, we, we always look forward to the recruiting process, bringing in new kids, new faces, always trying to rebuild, always trying to tweak things, change things, bring some dynamics like that to the program. But all in all, we just love the new faces and then the kids that stick around for three and four years. We love working with them and seeing them mature and grow within the program and within the university and then ultimately send them off into the real world and uh, hope that they are successful with what we taught, help teach them. So you've been working with the women in preseason training. How's that been going so far? It's been good. Uh, you know, we worked hard this year. We have a very focused group of girls, had them in the weight room. Uh, you know, our, our weightlifting staff here has been great, really helped us quite a bit in getting these girls. We thought that at the end of last year, one of our weaknesses was strength. And so we worked real hard in the weight room to get them to be stronger. Uh, and then they were in the water and we put it to them when they went home for Christmas break to train and come back in shape and they're starting to come out of the woodworks and it looks like uh, they're, they've prepared and they're ready to go this year. Uh, let's focus on some of those girls. Um, so who are some players to watch out for, whether it be returning or incoming? Well, obviously the returners. I mean, we've got some returning All-Americans. Uh, you know, uh, Bailey Meyer in the cage was just awesome last year, and we're expecting her to be great again this year. Uh, Victoria Rose Meek at center and her counterpart, uh, Sam Wolfestieg, uh, to hold that center position for us. Um, on the perimeters, uh, Christy McGee, uh, Nikki Rude, uh, Kristen Hearn, uh, Mardell Ramirez, just to name a few. We've got some great drivers in Nicole uh, Guerrero and others, and so uh, Megan Seaman is another great driver. So we're just looking for the girls to come back. They're much ma more mature this year, uh, played in some tight games last year. They learned a lot, and I'm looking for them to really step up to the plate and show the maturity. So next, uh, the NCAA and SCIAC preseason rankings have been released. The team came in at number three in, in both of them. Uh, what can you say about that ranking? Then, uh, and then, of course, uh, what can you say about the team versus that tough uh, SCIAC competition? Well, I would first say rankings are only rankings. you got to play the game every day, and this conference is really difficult. Uh, we, I, th I believe we're ranked behind uh, Whittier and uh, Pomona, and what well, we should be. They've been kind of the marker the last couple of years, uh, and so they're the target. Uh, but that doesn't count out Laverne and Claremont and all the others. This is a, a, a great cast of uh, programs in our conference. So uh, we know that rankings are just something on a piece of paper. We we got to get in the water and train and be prepared to really play great water polo and great physical water polo too. These teams in, co in our conference are very physical and all well coached. Uh, as far as the national scene goes, you know, in years past, uh, it's the Skyac has kind of dominated the top uh, portion of the rankings, uh, but there's some great teams back east too that are growing and the sport is seeing some growth and uh, you're starting to see some uh, California kids uh, show up on rosters back east, so you can't take anybody for granted. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, what are your expectations for the team? Uh, we, we same thing every year. I feel like a broken record. Our expectations are that we will get better every day uh, after every workout. Can we look in the mirror and say we got better today and after every game do we improve uh, on after every single game. So our expectations are always to stay focused on what we can control and what we can control is working hard, hard work and improvement, getting better. And uh, I think if the girls, the, the girls on, in, on this roster are super conscientious and I have no doubt that they will improve immensely from start to finish. Coach, thank you and good luck this season. Hey, thanks a lot. We're here with women's water polo seniors, Sam Wolfestieg, Aaron Kunafer, and Christy McGee. First off, ladies, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Um, so first question, how's the off-season and preseason workouts been going so far? They uh, went pretty well. We focused a lot on just scrimmaging a lot, and I think that is a good thing to do because you get more experience with like game time action and we did our swimming and 
did our weights and I think we got stronger. It was good. Yeah, we had a lot more time in the weight room with one of our uh, new assistant coaches, Shea Craig, um, uh, as yeah. opposed to like some of our past seasons where we didn't have as much weight room workouts. Um, so you've been around the returners a lot. Uh, you're just meeting the freshmen. How has the team been bonding out of the water? Uh... Very well. We are a close-knit team, and I think the bond and the chemistry that we all have is very good, and it's also slightly unique. And um, we, not all the time as a team, but like everybody has their groups, and everybody's usually almost always with another player, so we're always bonding, whether it's like just dinner, or just that, and then we all like get together and have like our fun and all that stuff. So we do lots of things out of the water together. Yeah, we've so, got a lot of, um, at least all of, in the off season, we had a lot of dinners together, so I think that we're going to be really close-knit during this season. So the NCAA and Skyac rankings have the team at number three. What are your thoughts on that? It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're all pretty excited about it, especially since how highly we placed last year, which was, like, according to our coach, was, like, really special for us, which, I mean, it was really special for us to be able to go into those games knowing that we had gone further than our past seasons. So, you know, you've seen that raking in, but what are your expectations for the team as a whole? And then, you know, who are some, maybe some players to watch out for? We uh, only graduated two seniors, and which is a good thing because we have a lot of returning players. And I think we all based off of last year and how well we did, have drive and motivation to do just as well or better this year. And I think that's really key. And we have a lot of returners, so that helps out with that. And then the freshmen just add on to it and help even more. We also have a lot of returning um, all Skyac and All-American players, so I think that'll really add to our playing uh, team, especially our first line. Um, so last question then, as seniors, what are you most excited about for this season? <laughs> um, just to go all in. It's the last season. Yeah. Just have fun and go for it all. Just got to leave it in the pool. All of it. Yeah, <laughs> just all of it. Ladies, thank you and good luck this season. Thank you. Thank you.